picked IB Theater for my HO because I've always been really interested in theater and once I found out that there was a higher level and I could count it as one of my HOs, I thought it was a really cool opportunity. Um, I'm excited about doing projects rather than tests for this class because I think it's a lot more personal. The projects in theater allow you to choose what you want to learn, choose how you want to express it, choose how you want to teach other people to do it. It gives you more freedom and it's a much better version of a microcosm of a test than the full test at the end of the year. The growth that I really want to have in HL Theater is to learn more about other people. I really think theater has helped me learn a lot about the world around me. This program has taught me a lot of skills that I've used, not just in the program, but also in interviews, in projects. Those skills to me are super valuable and are super useful outside of school and outside of the classroom. And I find those skills only grow the longer I stay in the program. Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui, nous parlerons sur le français placement avancé ou le PA français. Vous apprendrez sur le devoir, pourquoi le français PA est unique, les crédits universitaires PA, l'amitié dans la classe, pourquoi ce cours vous aidera et plus. Prendre plaisir de la vidéo. Salut tout le monde, euh, pour commencer j'aimerais que vous considériez choisir la classe de français parce que l'une des qualités de cette classe est qu'il n'y a pas beaucoup de devoirs et c'est juste le travail idéal. Aussi, beaucoup de personnes peuvent euh, te donner de l'aide si tu en as besoin en classe et euh, si tu fais ton travail en classe, tu n'en auras presque jamais à la maison et comme je l'ai dit encore une fois, il y a beaucoup de personnes qui peuvent t'aider. Je vous garantis que vous apprécierez le travail que cette classe est vous donne parce que la classe est très diverse et euh, le matériel est très différent de chapitre en chapitre. En plus, nous apprenons les philosophies françaises et nous lisons la littérature française commune. Parfois, nous parlons de similitudes et de différences dans les factions dont les États-Unis représentent différentes philosophies et comment ils sont présentés dans les pays francophones. C'est comme une classe d'anglais avec la particularité que l'écriture et la les lectures sont en notre langue. Parlez-vous déjà couramment l'espagnol? Relevez les défis avec le français. Il vaut mieux être trilingue que bilingue. Il n'est pas certain que parler l'anglais et l'espagnol soit suffisamment impressionnant pour les admissions à l'université. N'ayez pas peur que ce soit difficile. En fait, si vous connaissez déjà l'espagnol, ce sera beaucoup plus facile d'apprendre le français. De plus, le français a des fêtes uniques comme le Mardi Gras. Je ne voudrais pas que vous manquiez la délicieuse galette des rois. Et il n'y a pas de meilleure excuse pour regarder des films en français pendant le cours. Je ne pense pas que j'aurais eu autant de plaisir dans mon cours de langue étrangère si je n'avais pas choisi le français. Alors, choisissez le français. International Baccalaureate, or IB Biology, has two levels you can choose to take. SL, which is a single-year course, or HL, which is a two-year course. 
Both classes have a similar setup, but SL has a faster pace as it's only one year with six chapters. And HL has a slower pace, but goes more in depth to each of the 10 chapters. Whichever level of class you choose, you can expect to find fun, engaging lessons that will deepen your level of knowledge and help you better appreciate the biological world around you. Each day can range anywhere from drawing diagrams and interactive models on your desks, to creating microcosms with mud, building a model of a human protein, venturing outside to collect ecology data, or studying photosynthesis using data loggers, and so, so much more. We work hard to make sure each class is fun and interesting, while still closely aligning to exactly what you need to know for your IB Biology exam. If you pass your IB Biology exam with four or higher, you will receive college credit. The types of students that thrive in this type of class are hardworking and dedicated, and also have an interest in the biological sciences. If you are planning on going into the field of biological sciences, we recommend that you take the HL Biology option, as this will better prepare you for college and beyond. Additionally, if you aren't a fan of math, chemistry, or physics, you might just find the perfect home in biology. We hope you will consider registering for this class, and we look forward to meeting you next year. In New York, as the death toll continues totally to... Totally under control. It's one person coming in from China. They're fighting a war here, and they're losing. The fires already among the worst in that country's history, with more than 12 million acres scorched. We're still doing the same thing. Enough! 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 Is enough! And uh, it, uh, I'm just getting... Reclaim Hong Kong, they chant, and Hong Kong... They call their movement Occupy. Hi, I'm Mr. Arnold, and I teach Ivy Global Politics. Ivy Global Politics is a college prep political science class. However, you do not have to be in IB in order to take the class. It's an elective open to all students at Winter Park High School. Uh, students in Ivy Global Politics study world events that occur during their lifetime, and they also even engage in a political activity of their choice in a year-long project. This is a great way for students to become in a, involved in and aware of political topics as a high school student. Chaos unravels at the Capitol Hill as the building is stormed by... The world that has looked to American democracy is looking on in horror. The angry final days of Donald Trump's presidency. With all the twists and turns of 2020, who knows what's in store in 2021? Bye, everyone, and I hope to see you next year. Everyone should learn about art history. The history of art is not a confined subject. When studying the timeline of art around the world, topics like politics, religion, gender, and the sciences, among others, all become necessary to address. Art history is important because of its breadth. It covers a variety of issues and, as you navigate the course, you learn how to discuss these subjects in a unified sense rather than with an exclusively isolated perspective. Furthermore, many of the art pieces are emotional or contain sensitive content, and by learning about the context behind these artworks, your outlook matures and it becomes easier to process more information with an open mind. Art is very often a response to events of the time, and a huge part of the course is studying the context behind the artworks, which is essentially the circumstances in which they came into being. The course covers 250 artworks that range from global prehistory to global contemporary. Every piece of artwork is studied with index cards to help memorize the main details. It seems like a lot at first, but the course is structured in a way where everything fits together like puzzle pieces. Here are two letters from current students about why they feel the art history course is beneficial as an elective. As someone who has loved art and been surrounded by it their whole life, I always knew it was a passion of mine, but I myself struggled a lot with identifying as an artist. Art history allowed me to immerse myself in art in a completely new way. It opened my eyes to a love for art history and architecture that I had no idea I possessed, and introduced me to new and old methods of critical thinking both about art and real world problems. I feel like art history has been a cool way for me to see the beauty in all things, even those that aren't traditionally considered beautiful. Letter 2. 
I love art history class because I love learning about what leads an artist to create a certain piece, as well as discussing past and contemporary events in the art world. Being in class helps me view the world in a broader perspective, and I love how discussions really try to provoke deep thought in an open-minded environment. Welcome to Digital Video. We are the Wildcat Network and produce video content for the school. We produce the Wildcat News. So if you've been anywhere on the internet for the last week, you'll know that the inauguration was last Wednesday. National Dog Day! Reporting from home, this is your World News Wednesday. A variety of short films. I really just hope we don't go to the Highlands. I was yeah, not yeah, yeah. <coughs> Aaliyah? Aaliyah. <coughs> Aaliyah. <coughs> Task failed. Aaliyah drained polluted water. Aaliyah has been disconnected. Breaking news. A detonator has been stolen from Area 52. Location is currently unknown. The detonator has already been used twice and is predicted to cause mass devastation. The trajectory of the missiles that were launched is currently unknown. Oh, that was easy. Info that one more missile was just launched. Oh, sh the update on this unfolding story. And we've recently started live streaming on our YouTube channel. everybody, my name is Mrs. Pet Cabbage. I want to introduce you to the electives that I teach. I teach marketing essentials, marketing applications, and marketing management. And I also teach IB business and management. If you take marketing essentials and marketing applications and marketing management, you will be able to get a industrial certification called social media strategist certification, which never expires, which would be a really nice resume builder for going into college and then if you choose to take IB business and management of course it's an IB course anyone can take it um, you do have to write a 1500 uh, word research paper but I do give you time in class to do it and we have a lot of fun talking about um, today's businesses and how it's impacted by different issues like politics so if you want to take a fun and classes that really relate to your future career or life, uh, take my classes, marketing or IB business and management. It's not sitting in front of the teacher and having to take notes the whole time. Your teacher will give you an assignment for the day or different projects to get done that week. And it's just a different type of class and it's a different learning experience. I think it introduces skills for all kids, whether they're really interested in medicine or where they're really just kind of checking out what's there. With the normal classes, it's just focused on what you have to learn and what you need to learn, what they want to test you on. Whereas biomedical classes, they focus on what you want to do in the future, how to help you further on with your career, and it really gives you that head start that you need. You get to become the doctor almost, and so you get to take the form of all these different doctors, and you really get to decide what you want to do with it. You get to learn at whatever rate you feel comfortable with, and you get a full understanding of what you're doing by the time you're through. All these courses are project activity based. They require students to problem solve, to think critically, to collaborate. Project Lead the Way focuses most of its curriculum around case files, case briefs in the first year. They follow one woman in the second year. Um, they follow a variety of scenarios. Third year, they follow a family. More of a lab-based, a lot of lab uh, experiences that most would not get until the college level. We worked with kidneys and a cow elbow, and we worked with a sheep heart. And that's how I found out I wanted to go into cardiology. And a cow's eye, it was just, it was amazing. It's really, you don't get to see those things in normal classes. They're not given a textbook answer. There's not a textbook lab to follow. They really have to think of their own problems and their own solutions. Project Lead the Ways classes are a lot more in depth. 
and it's not so much cookie cutter. There's different things that can go wrong and then you have to figure out, well, what makes it do this? And I really enjoy that kind of puzzle piece. My experience has been great. You know, I've loved my teachers, the classes, the labs and projects. I mean, everything about it's been amazing. I just love it. I love the program. It's very hands-on and it teaches us a lot about the things that we'll experience in the medical field. Hello everybody, my name is Charlie Schmidt and I am this year's Winter Park High School band president. We want this coming year to be both an exciting and encouraging one to our incoming band members. Here's a couple words of advice from current band students. We hope you enjoy! My name is Blake Cox. I'm going to be a senior next year. I will be a drum major. My name is Evan Muller. I'm the captain of the Winter Park Color Guard. Hi, my name is Kang Masatello. I play trombone in the Winter Park Sound of the Wildcats, the Winter Park Philharmonic, Jazz Ensemble One, and Wind Symphony. Hi, I'm Maddie. Um, I'm a rising junior at Winter Park High School. Uh, I'm in the band program. Hi, I'm Matt Breitz. Um, I play euphonium in the band, and for marching band, I play baritone. I joined because I enjoy band a lot in middle school, and I was excited to try out marching band in high school. I thought it could be fun to be at all the football games, free seats, and it paid off. I'm really glad I joined. So you can get great scholarships for playing an instrument through high school and being in band through high school. The Color Guard is the visual representation of the band, with the sabers, the rifles, the flags, um, but we're more than that. I joined band to get better at my instrument and to make new friends in high school. Also, uh, I went to a football game one night and I saw the marching band uniforms and I fell in love with them. I absolutely loved those uniforms and I knew I really wanted to wear one. So that was the other reason I kept doing band. Uh, my favorite band activities are football games and the band camp spirit week and family fun night because it's a really good time to get close with everyone in your section and everyone in the band and it's a great team building experience and you make a lot of friends and great memories there. My favorite band memory is um, when the band went to Los Angeles to perform at the Walt Disney um, Concert Hall. It was just so much fun going to Disney, um, going to Disneyland, um, going to the Santa Monica Pier and performing on that like famous of a stage. Um, it just was so much fun. I had so much fun with my friends. We made so many great memories and it was just really, really great. I have met some of the best people I've met in my entire life. Um, I'm really happy I stayed. Guard has given all of us an opportunity to have a place to call home full of long lasting friends. Along with the band, I'm also part of the girls varsity weightlifting team and I'm in the IV program. Band doesn't take up as much time as people think it does and um, a lot of the students in band are also in IB so it's kind of like a really close-knit family. I'm an Eagle Scout and um, throughout my sophomore and junior year I did complete my Eagle. Um, I am a part of the International Baccalaureate um, IB um, program and I'm also part of the lacrosse team. Um, along with Bandit Winter Park, I am in student government and I'm in the sports analytics club. I helped found it with a couple other kids in band. You, you meet a, a lot of great people, you have a great time and um, you make some lasting memories and it's just a lot of fun if you, if you give it the effort. I hope to see you guys next year. And yeah, bye. Hi, I'm Mrs. Williams. I want you to consider enrolling in AP Environmental Science for next school year. 
Are you interested in becoming an environmental scientist, ecologist, biologist, or even an environmental engineer? Or do you just love nature and the environment? I would love to have you join us next year. In class, we learn about many interesting topics, including biodiversity, populations, land and water use, conservation, and climate change. Get ready to have fun while learning as we do lab in class. Everything from mining for chocolate ore with the cookie mining lab to finding out how pollution spreads with the watershed lab. You can even outsmart your classmates as we fish during the tragedy of the commons lab. Keep in mind, it's best to have taken bio and chem before enrolling and be ready to earn college credit when you pass the AP exam. If all this sounds like fun, go ahead and enroll in AP Environmental for next year. I look forward to seeing you in class. AP Capstone is an innovative program for high school students designed in partnership with college faculty. Built on two new courses from the Advanced Placement Program, AP Capstone challenges students to select their own topics of study. In AP Seminar, students learn to evaluate the strength of an argument, pose solutions, collaborate, and communicate. In AP Research, students design, plan, and conduct a year-long investigation on a topic they choose. Both courses foster collaboration, research, and analytical writing. Within AP Capstone, the seminar course is innovative for its flexibility. The research program has a similar focus of flexibility and innovation that we find attractive. Instructors and their students can choose the topic they're going to focus on. It has to be interdisciplinary, it has to be engaging, it has to be pressing. The AP Capstone program is, I think, one of the most exciting innovations the College Board has ever come up with. And it's primarily because the teaching focus is shifted from content to skills. That is a paradigm shift. The AP Capstone program was implemented in fall 2014 in 114 schools in the United States and in 22 schools throughout Canada, Europe, and Asia. The number of schools and students participating in the program are both expected to grow rapidly. Diversity in classes is fundamental to AP Capstone. I see so much growth in the students over the year with writing and learning how to not just synthesize information, which is so critical, but also to draw conclusions and solutions and think about problems in the world around them. They also learn to work in teams and collaborate with each other, which is a critical skill in today's society. I was sitting here listening to our students in some of the presentations, and I wasn't seeing 16 to 17 year old high school students. I was seeing 20 to 21 year old college students sitting here going through some of these topics that range anywhere from euthanasia to human trafficking, pop culture. Their intellectual maturity over the few months that we've had the program is outstanding. The AP Capstone classes really help students develop the ability to do inquiry to learn about gathering information, what information to trust, or how to put that information in context, how to form an argument based on the data and the evidence and the information that they've got, and then how to communicate it. AP Capstone exams are validated by an external team of expert faculty from high schools and colleges. The external validation associated with AP and AP Capstone does is it gives us a national standard. And for people like me that work in admissions and enrollment at uh, selective universities, that in itself is of huge value. So we trust what we see. The AP Capstone program, I think, is very unique. It's a broad program that gives skills that we think are very valuable, not only for college, but life skills. The ability to analyze, to critically think, uh, to present that information uh, is really wonderful. And I think both courses do a great job of preparing the student for the rest of their lives. Fostering the research, argumentation, and communication skills that provide a foundation for college and career success.